Hello, my wonderful friends. Uh, today we have few announcements, so I will start. Linda is safe. She came back yesterday fi at five o'clock. Uh, she arrived to her house five o'clock. Uh, you know, time is always so tricky to understand. So I can't say that uh, I saw four, five, four, six movements. So I was thinking for six days, but it was a few hours actually. And she was at five at home. Which is so good. Yeah, and she was saying thank you for, for the prayers. It helped her. Mm -hmm. Okay. And another one. I want to announce lottery. So at the, uh, uh, whoever will leave the comments under the, um, co on the comment section, I will qualify you for lottery unless you will say you don't want to be in the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, everyone will have a equal chances and I know some people will write few ta few comments and that's more chances but that's a, never hurt anyone to have few attempts mm -hmm. to be on the lottery so in the next video I will do the drawing for the lottery mm -hmm. and thank you thank you thank you for reboosting subscribing I don't know but it was like magic over 600 new subscribers in few days uh, so I told uh, Tracy it looks like the I'm on the better terms with YouTube <laughs> maybe just the announcement that we are going to do the live stream but we will tell we'll about, about that at the end at the end yeah. okay we have Thanks to remember so much. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah I've got it in front of me so I don't forget and <laughs> I have to tell you everyone probably felt the same way watching that debate yesterday my husband told me, come on, lay down next to me. We will watch on top of the bed. I said, honey, I have to do something. I'm <laughs> going crazy. I went to the kitchen. From kitchen, I can watch the, listen to the debate. And uh, my fridge was clean <laughs> because of that. <laughs> I cleaned the stove that didn't need it to be cleaned, but I cleaned it. I was in that mode of. I have to do something because I'm going crazy. That was like unreal. And my son, yeah. Roman, is texting me, Mom, it's unreal. It's crazy. He didn't go for his sport event. No, he stayed home so he could watch it. <laughs> and uh, my girlfriend, uh, Beverly and uh, Cheryl, they were both writing <laughs> the same comments. It was overwhelming. And... Uh, I think that they punch each other, and Biden was not. But boy, he was doing better than anyone could expect. So I'm so. I, I told him, I told you guys, I want him to punch to, to punch Don Don, and he did. So it was like the two boys fighting outside the schoolyard. Mm -hmm. But. I've only seen highlights so far. I unfortunately had to work she was last smart. night. <laughs> so my plan is to watch it finally today, but I've seen a few highlights and I'm like, so I feel like I need a bowl of popcorn to watch it with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, or cleaning. <laughs> or cleaning. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> I never knew that that would motivate me that much, but I was so lucky. Maybe I should have watched another time and watched the windows. <laughs> okay. Oh, so good. Thanks for everyone to, uh, for sub submitting, submitting uh, questions. Remember, if you want to, you can do so at violetta.questions at gmail.com. And the, uh, the link to that email is down below in the description. And it's coming to her. I don't have any access to those emails. Mm -hmm. She just asked me, do you know who that person is? Sometimes there's a yes, sometimes there's a no. <laughs> well, remind me because, you know, it is. Okay. It's always fun. Um, so a few of you guys wrote in about, um, for this one, will the GOP be able to appoint someone to take Ruth Bader Ginsburg's place before the election? It is like someone who you think that the golfer can't aim, but at the last moment the ball is coming kind of round way and getting in the hole. Mm. Yeah, I think that that's what it is. They will be able to, and be, because of Mitch McConnell is uh, controlling the situation, that looks like that. So it might be a last minute 
sneak somebody in. Yeah, and it is like that. There's, you are watching. I'm not very much. A, I only once tried to play golf, and they told me beginners in England has to wake up at five o'clock to to be on the court. I thought, That's not for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and well, how? I know many of you love it, but that was <laughs> cold. Foggy and unpleasant experience, so I never. Roman I've tried is it once. Roman. Romans. My son is going often. Okay, mm-hmm. three cards for one, two, three. Uh, the devil will win because they are strong, and that will make. Mitch McConnell, lonely person, that will be actually against him in his Hmm. uh, state of Kentucky because he's playing the devil game. People don't like when someone is saying, I'm doing this for people so they have the choice. One, uh, One year and four years later, they discriminate the people because they are not their people. Mm -hmm. It's not fair. Okay. Um, okay, from Jane, and I apologize, I meant to ask this question last week, I didn't realize that it had fallen to the bottom of my purse, so I lost it, I apologize. Um, regarding the sterilization of immigrant women in uh, immigration detention camps, who is ordering this? Does Trump have anything to do with it? Triggered. One. Two. Three. Someone underneath, underneath him. I think maybe Mueller. I don't think Trump had even a brain for, for, to think about that. Hmm. But it looks like that doctor was the one who was doing this on his own. Big change. The death card. He was playing the God. He didn't want those women to be safe that empire. Who knows? Maybe even Don Don knew it. So there was more people than him that knew about the... They didn't want those women to bring more children to the world. That's so cruel, so... Oh! You can't imagine having that taken no. away. That, that's right for women to be taken and to, to... Some of them will be in a, in a state of depression for the rest of their lives. Oh, yeah. And they have no money to adopt. But uh, that privilege for us to be taken away by someone who has no rights, and then they are so evangelical pro-life. And yet they do that. <sighs> I didn't even do that to my baby. She is still vulnerable. <laughs> Um, so I love that this question got submitted. So there, and I wish I could remember the title of it. There's a series on Netflix that talks about, uh, like world's most wanted people and people that still haven't been caught. One of them includes a person uh, named Mr. Kabugo, who was in a serious connection to the 1994 genocide in, in Rwanda. And he was, he was on the run for 26 years. And that was what this program was talking about. He has actually been recently arrested now. So the question is, will he be, he still claims that he's not guilty. He still tries to say that he had nothing to do with it, even though there's proof that he ordered the machetes and that he started a radio program and told this one tribe to kill the other tribe. So um, the question is, will Mr. Kabugo be convicted for this crime? Three cards. One. Two. Three. And moving through the court, it's like <laughs> the courts that you see from the news is when Como was walking through those courts or Page or whatever. It looks like they are going and then decided which way they go and they go to the left and they are going to the cabins and deciding it is like court in a session, so they will be taking 
He will face a trial. That doesn't look too good. He looks like he will be still halfway discharged. They wouldn't have enough because of the money of the security. So there will be, instead of going to the right, they went to the left in the corridor. And that will make the last sentence. He, he is prepared to survive. Just unbelievable. Yeah. I want to be wrong. I want to be wrong on that one, but that's what I'm seeing. And well, and, and I know he's he's obviously has money behind him because he's been able to stay on the run yeah. for this long. Like, just... Ugh. Ugh. Um, from Kathy... But it will be progress, so it will take a while, and maybe the angel of security will save the security to, to the people of Rwanda. I hope so. Um, okay, sorry. So, Kathy... Uh, will the Supreme Court have to make a ruling on election results? Yes. Three charges will be on one side, but there is nine of there will be nine, so six will be pro. Hmm. Do you think it'll be fair or ethical? That's what I'm worried. Three against six, because I see the three safe ones. Mm -hmm. With one, two, three. Well, maybe the three will be against, and the rest will be pro. Good choices. Seven of coins, they will make a good choice. Because angel of swords and angel of life for people will win. Yes. Well, you see numbers and you don't understand sometimes mm -hmm. what they are meaning. Those numbers, and those yeah. are like a coins, those three. So maybe those three will be the, the Trumps lately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cameras and the others might be, I don't know, but because even, uh, so there will be some. Fingers crossed. Fingers, <laughs> yeah. Fingers crossed. Um, I want him to run for his life to the island. <laughs> so continuing kind of on the same theme here, Tina wrote in about um, Diane French Frankstein. Feinstein. 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 Uh, um, and so the head of the lead Democrat on the Judiciary Committee, um, will she have the strength to lead the Democrats against Trump, um, Trump's pick to replace uh, Ruth? Count to three and I will have a vision. One, two, three. She is like Sphinx, she will rise to the, uh, not Sphinx, Phoenix. Phoenix. She, Phoenix. She will rise, get and rise to the, she will be fighting, but they, they don't have, it was like with Kavanaugh, they sh he shouldn't be winning and then they let him. I saw the half wagon that shouldn't be on the road mm -hmm. and they push him. They push the wagon. So this time, yes, she will be for the justice. She will be very right what she will be saying. We have to wait for, for the real person coming. Eventually, I think there will be two more judges in the Supreme Court. Yes, she will do the best job that she can do. She is a very wise person. And she will fight. She will fight. Um, okay. Uh, Christina wrote in and she wrote in with a, a fair bit of a backstory and I want to like kind of read it better to explain it um, but basically she has developed a medical condition called uh, Chiari and it's to do with the brain and it kind of uh, comes down the back a little bit and it, anyways it creates like it can create nausea and migraines and that and oftentimes there's not enough information about it so it gets misdiagnosed um, so Christina 
It's the after coronavirus, or we don't know what. Uh, no, this is like bef- like pre pre COVID, oh, okay. um, and so she was with the military, so she's gone through you know their military care, um, but she's also had a civilian doctor as well, and I think it was the civilian doctor that diagnosed. Anyways, it's not something that's regularly treated, and she's hoping that there will be more awareness brought to it. Um, and I wanted to mention it because apparently it oftentimes, because when people have these migraines and have symptoms, um, it goes on undiagnosed. So it's something that you guys could look into to potentially can have re- something can diagnosed. Can re- repeat the, the name of the uh, So it's Chiari. Chiari. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll, when I have a chance, I'll try and post a little bit about it on the community page so you guys can check it out if you're interested. But anyways, because of everything that she's gone through, um, she feels that the military medical care is sometimes she feels like some things get overlooked by them so they can't be put on disability so she wants to know will the military medical care in the states get better three cards one two three when you are drinking hot borscht sometimes you can have in the cup and you want to drink it fast and it's very good but it's too hot to drink i think they have to wait until everything will calm down after election it can't be really rushed because it will be and they will be looking better and it will be better for everyone everyone borscht is cheap so I have to understand what my vision is, and borscht is a wonderful symbol of Polish food. Mm-hmm. It's yummy, and I know sometimes when I will put this in the tea uh, cups, not tea cups, in the cups, everyone wants to go and don't do it, don't touch it yet. So they have to give them a time to, to let it cool. cool down and be more reliable, and then everyone will have the taste of it, and everyone will be happy eventually yes they will be able to be on the chariot and do the 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 best job they can queen of love there will be a woman uh, representative probably for for the from the party to running that medical fields but before that they have to wait, they are like a prisoners. they can't really open their eyes. And you have to give yourself time when the new president will be. It will take a while. It's not going to be right away, maybe a couple years until it will, everything will be. Mm-hmm. So hopefully like more funding so that they can do more yeah. and, and provide more for their care. Okay. That's, I think I understand this right. Well, I thought it was Porsche. Um, in regards to Brianna Taylor, so last week there was, um, you know, the, that I'm sure everybody knows what I'm talking about. Um, so obviously there was the young some, black ma- a woman who was killed mm-hmm. by mistake, and uh, the convictions did not really go the way that people were hoping it was going to go. Unfortunately, um, so she's wondering: Is it possible that the Kentucky Attorney General was forced or bribed into letting the police officers off the hook? He's black. He shouldn't be. Can you count? One. Two. Three. I put two. It looks, excuse me, he might, he not, maybe, no, that's form of blackmail more than uh, bragging. He is afraid for his head. It's like gelatin is waiting for him if he will stand up. Like the axe will come down on him. On him. So he tried to not to rock the boat. He's tried to to be... (sighs) He wanted to to do best, but he couldn't. It looks like someone put him his head under the gelatin and you do what we tell you to, what to do he has sleepless nights he is worried there is something that they know about him from the previous situation so mm. he is in the situation that he is blackmailed 
he feels powerless. He don't know what to do. And it's all about cheating, cheating, cheating. Sorry, that's the cards are saying, and that's what I have seen. So it makes kind of sense that he is vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Even he was uh, sad when he was talking about crying, kind of being very sad when he was reading that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it is very hard for him to, to go one step further because people are people and they have to obey some rules. And the rules are paid by rich people and Mitch McConnell is the big pillar in the Kentucky, from Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. He is from over there. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Kathy asks, are there people or companies trying to control access to clean water across the globe? Will clean water ever be available to everyone? So sorry, I guess maybe starting with, are there people or companies trying to control access to clean water across the globe? Three cards. One. Two. Three. Yeah, and I know even, I think Nest, Nest, Nestie Nest is buying from Canada a lot of clean water. Yeah. We were so lucky, but, and they are buying for, for peanuts. Less than peanuts because uh, 100 liter is uh, yeah. 10 cents or 5 cents. Yes. The, the family, families will stand up. The people will start worry about the safety of the family. They will go for the judgment and then they will have to pay for it. But it's still not, that doesn't say that they will have protection. No. It is definitely is something that we should be more aware of and, and try and fight against because I mean, our water is such a valuable a resource. Yeah. yeah. and. And we're lucky. We're lucky here in Canada for the most part. You know, we can turn on our taps and there's water. Like, not every bird has that. Yeah. Well, I was living in the old city in Poland and the old pipes were made out of wood. Some part of the city, they had to remove the old pipes that were lead or wood. A oh. hundred years old. I remember I was looking at the ditch because they were doing the construction and I thought, Gosh, that's I where mean, your water's coming from. That's what, and the water was yucky. I couldn't drink uh, whenever I was going to Poland. And when I was growing up in Poland, I had to cook the water and make into tea because I couldn't drink the, uh, handle the taste of water. Mm -hmm. oh. Over here, we have wonderful water so far. So far, yeah. As long as we keep our attention brought to it. Uh, my last question that I have today is from Alexis. Would Trump or Eric Prince hire people to create intimidation or violence during voting? Uh, Prince, uh, Eric Prince is brother of Betsy Devois. He was on uh, those islands, Shell Islands, colluded with Russia. We don't know anything about that story. He was supposed to be investigated by Mueller nothing about that too much yes that's uh, a guy who who has i don't want to stand up on his toe but he has connections all over the world and he wants to have a private army for trump probably mm -hmm. so is he um so will trump or eric prince hire people to create intimidation or violence during voting three cards one Two, three. They are swearing to him. They have the swords up from oh, two sides. Legends. So they are. Uh, yeah, he knows what he is doing. Because they want to celebrate his victory, they will backstab everyone who is against them. And so far he's observing, but give him a few more weeks. And yesterday on the debate, Trump couldn't 
say anything against his uh, white supremacists. No. No. So he is uh, preparing for, for, for some battles after the election day, and that will be probably the army that of those people who will be well, something that I don't want to scare anyone. And now mm -hmm. we have to make an announcement. Yeah. Um, thank you again for submitting questions. So we are going to be opening up uh, the registration for memberships actually we're going to be working on it today, but it will be officially open tomorrow uh, We are going to be doing the live stream on Wednesdays at 11 o'clock Western time oh, or our time. Sorry, Alberta Mountain time. Sorry, not Western time Alberta Mountain time. My apologies um, So Eastern time is two hours ahead. So it'll be at one o'clock um, and Western is one hour behind, behind us. us. So it'll be at 10 <laughs> 10 o'clock in California, uh, East Coast, and New York, and Washington, all those parts, I think it will be, I think Washington as well, that will be, if that's the Western time, it will be two hours ahead, so it will be one o'clock in one coast, and 10 o'clock in another. Mm -hmm. The we easiest have. way to find the video when you're coming to join us will be to go to Violetta's uh, main like YouTube page, her overall page, and then there's a community tab. When you click on that, there will be a little th link on there that you'll be able to click and it'll take you to the live stream video. Uh, but uh, only if you are a member, mm -hmm. because I know I couldn't get uh, with Linda. Yeah, we had to take I, some playing yeah, around. We have to <laughs> first pay for, for the membership. and. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry that I'm doing this, but I just saw the difference between the moment that Tracy announced that we, that we are going to do the live stream. The next video was three times better than average, so the amount of people that was able to watch. I just would love to have ability to, to have something out of it, because it, it is very depressing when I'm posting and no one is watching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, just very few mm -hmm. very loyal people thank you so much to everyone who is very loyal to me but uh, 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 there were so many people who subscribed and they didn't watch it so please reboot the subscription and check if you are a subscriber but otherwise mm -hmm. be and just a reminder our regular video regular videos are still going to continue the same this is just kind of our added little perk that we're yeah. gonna try and we're looking forward to it yes and uh, i'm so afraid of doing two things at once like reading and answering uh, i was uh, i have to say it uh, my husband just learned that i had dyslexia as a child and when i'm stressed out sometimes the letters are jumping on me from one side to another which is not fair but i'm not complaining i because i had dyslexia i was able to memorize everything for and that was giving me advantage at school that i knew everyone's <laughs> poem i was always standing in front of the teacher behind the person who was telling the poem and i was and sometimes I'm not using my lips as I supposed to be using because I was talking like that all the time and I was <laughs> helping <laughs> without taking attention to myself. But then um, that was the strong side for me because I, no one was really picking on, on me. The, the, the kids, everyone needed to be on the front of the school and the, every two months we have the big... Um, um, meeting and every child had to speak up in front of the school the, to say the poem mm. and when they were in the front of the school they, they were so nervous they forget and for me it was so easy the teachers were surprised that I could memorize everyone's poem <laughs> two times I will read it and I will oh we lost the oh, power went out. <laughs> okay thank you so much so please understand that um, that kind of always makes me feel uncomfortable when I am in a stressful situation to understand <coughs> what I'm reading or the letters are sometimes jumping on me mm -hmm. a lot of people have dyslexia even um, Richard Branson and Cheer we are surviving and 
It's not that I can't read, I can. My husband was not aware, my Roman was not aware, no one was aware that I have that problem because I was dealing with this for myself. But mm -hmm. I, I don't want to take something on my shoulder that might be too heavy. Yeah. So I'm going to be going to be sitting beside her during the live stream so I can help read the, the questions off yeah. to her as well as you guys type them. So again, for a more authentic experience, you guys can send up, sign up for the membership. During the live stream, there's a, uh, a chat that happens at the exact same time that you guys can type into and uh, start to cut discussions and ask questions and then get it answered in real time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing and please send me questions and come for the private readings. Mm -hmm. Thanks Thank so you. much. Bye, Bye. Bye. Hey guys, we just want to give a quick little how-to if you are interested in booking a private reading with Psychic Violetta. So first thing you're going to do is head on over to her website, psychicvioletta.com. And then if you look over here, there is a tab for book readings. So you're going to click on that, which will populate the next page. There we go. And then you can choose what kind of reading you would like. So you can do um, one by phone or by Skype. And then you would choose which one you like and click on book now. And then from there, you can go through and find a day or time that works best for you. Now, I will quickly mention to you guys that all the times that are listed are in um, Alberta time here in Canada. So you will wanna make sure that you do a quick Google uh, just to make sure that you, you choose a time that works for you as these times are, as I said, for Alberta. So then you click on the time and then I'll take you to options for making payment and then you'll be all set for your reading with Psychic Violetta. Have a great day, guys.